going on guys? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing Ken. Ken is the brand new sci-fi film, but I'll be honest, yeah it's a sci-fi film. It's from the producers of Stranger Things, and it's also directed by the Baker Brothers. Weird that the producers of Stranger Things also made Stranger Things with the Duffer Brothers. Are they related? Are they not? I don't know, but they're two brothers, and apparently they take risk on two brothers. This is actually the Baker Brothers' first directorial debut. They have directed a short film, which this film is actually based on. That short film is actually pretty not bad. You guys should go check it out. But Ken, here we are talking about this movie. There has been little to no marketing for this movie. I have never seen a trailer in the movie theaters. I've always seen the poster every time I go to the movie theaters, and I've always been intrigued. Oh, I wonder what that film is about. You know, it's James Franco, Jack Renner. Zoe Kravitz, Dennis Quaid, and even Carrie Coon. I like each and every one of these actors. I think they all bring their own sensibilities when coming to a role. And they all do a pretty damn good job in this film. But what is Ken about, per se? Well, Ken is about a young boy who is an adoptive brother and an adoptive son to Dennis Quaid. Uh, his brother is Jack Renner. And, of course, what happens is some stuff just starts to ensue, and they end up going on a family road trip. Doesn't sound like very sci-fi much, but what is within this family road trip is before this happens, the kid happens to find a ray gun. With this ray gun, it brings trouble with some aliens chasing them down and some also gang members. That story does feel a little bit convoluted. It doesn't seem like a typical sci-fi film, and it's not your typical sci-fi film. This film is more of a family drama with some sci-fi elements to it, and that's where I'll put it at. So as far as say, I enjoy parts of this film, and I dislike parts of this film. So as always, we're going to start with the good. What is really good about this film is the performances. I think each and every person brought a different sensibility again to their character, and I thought they all did a great job. James Franco walks the line between creepy, funny, and scary, which he did wonderfully in Spring Breakers, and he does really good in here. Zoe Kravitz is charming. The young boy in here is amazing. I, I think he was really good. I'm really looking forward to whatever the kid does next. And then moving over to Jack Renner, who a lot of people give crap to, but... I thought he was really good in here. Some moments where I think he wasn't overacting, but I could have used him a little bit more emotion in him, but still pretty good in here. And that's where we get into this film. This film, again, is a family road trip movie and you don't hear that. But the issue with this movie that I had is not the directing, is not the score, because the score in here is probably one of the best parts about the film. It's not the aesthetics, it's not the visuals of the film. Everything looks great. It's the way this film was written. And it's not saying it was a bad script. It just felt rushed. The script felt very rushed. It's not cheesy dialogue. It's not, oh, I know how this is going to go. It's not predictable at all, actually. It, really, it isn't. Like, you can kind of predict some things, but by the third act of the film, the last, like, 20 minutes of the movie opens up some wild ideas, which I'm not going to get into spoilers on, but, I, but that can be a pro and a con for me. Really, all my problems end up going back to the script and me sitting here saying, this movie should have been a TV show. Hands down, should have been a TV show on Netflix. And I have no idea why it wasn't. The material is there. The world building is there. The character development is there. But all of it feels very rushed. And I say this because as I was watching the film, I would go and say, okay, this could have been easily a 30 minute to 45 minute episode. This could have been an hour long episode. This could have been, and I was breaking up segments where it doesn't feel like an act one, act two, and act three. No, it feels like chapter one, episode one, episode two, episode three. And that's what it, the film felt like it was structured. And they're like, oh man, this is going to have to be a movie. Okay, push it together. We'll cut up, snip up some stuff, snip up some more character development and just smoosh it all together in one movie. That is probably the most disappointing thing about this movie is because I really did feel like there was some really good material in here. And I'll go as far to say, if they made a sequel, which this film does set up, and the whole time I was watching this film, by the, by the time the film ended, I was sitting there going, wow, this really was just a setup movie. Because by the end of the movie, they open up some awesome ideas where I go to say, where was that the rest of this movie? If you were just going to make this movie a family drama and open up those amazing ideas by the last 20 minutes, where were all those ideas earlier in the movie? Because it would have made the movie ten times more interesting. Not saying I wasn't interested. I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't find myself bored. I just found myself finding this film average. And then the last fifteen minutes pops up. and I'm like, this is awesome. Where was all of this the whole entire time? By the end of the day, this movie just ends up being forgettable for me, which is disappointing. Again, that last fifteen minutes got me hyped. I would be intrigued to see a sequel. To be honest, will we ever get a sequel? I have no idea. I don't know if I can wholeheartedly recommend this movie. But I think if you go into this movie 
knowing it's a family road trip film, not saying this film is for families, but if you know it's a family road trip film with some sci-fi elements, with a pretty cool ending, I think you can enjoy it. I enjoyed the film, but it definitely didn't live up to the potential that the film built itself up to be. Some awesome performances and a fantastic score, and seriously, some of the most mind-boggling like ending where I just stood up and I was like, Oh my god! Like, I literally said in myself, like, multiple times, like, the last 15 minutes, like, Oh my god, where was all this? Comes down to the script feeling like it was just rushed and pushed together. Solid directing in here. I want to see what the Baker Brothers do next. But with all that said, I'm going to give Ken a C. Curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this one, so make sure to comment down below and tell me your guys' thoughts. Have you heard of this film? Are you excited for it? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Plus, if you're new here and you guys want to get into advanced movie screens, check out Sandwich on Films down below, because right down there you guys can again get into advanced movie screens. You can also check out some movie news and also some movie reviews by me. Of course, guys, you guys are seriously all the best. You guys know that. So, until next time, stay classy.